the shipyards close, the gates are locked, the chains begin to rust. He was tied down to his memories forever in their debt, but all sail for clear blue waters and a life no regrets. No use fighting when the wind's against the tide. Ship your oars, store your sails, just enjoy the ride of your life. Throw yourself Gillian Frame, Ali Hutton, Findlay Napier and Hamish Napier, winners of Best Folk Band at the Scottish Trad Music Awards. It's Back of the Moon, Ship in a Bottle from the latest album, Luminosity. You're listening to The Garden Sessions. I'm Jack Foster and with me, the good, the bad and the ugly of the folk scene. I'm talking, of course, of Tom Harland, Dave the Angles Gimble and yes, he's back because it's a very special show. Frank Burkett. Hello, listeners. Why Welcome is it a special back, show, though? Oh, I can tell you that one. Uh, it's the first birthday. It is indeed. And yeah. if anyone's been on the website at gardensessions.co.uk, uh, you'll see the picture of our lovely birthday cake, which, <laughs> which Angles and Frank put together for us this afternoon. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It looks like a cow. Before pack. we no, be, before we get onto the cake, before we get onto cake, I want to make sure everyone out there understands. I, I Bagsy being the good. I Bagsy being the bad. Well done, Frank. I guess I'm the ugly. <laughs> oh, I could have gone so many different ways. It's what's on the inside that it's counts. Like Russian we all know that. It's what's anyway, on the, the cake inside. doesn't look like a cat. Yeah, the ca- I spent. Can I just say I spent a good few minutes decorating that cake this <laughs> afternoon, and as far as I'm concerned, that cake is glorious. The cake is, is a, a baker's dream. Judge for yourselves. <laughs> did you make the uh, Did you make the sponge yourself, not, Angles? Not I did. So no. No. Right. Well, that was you your bought us a corporate sponge. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's I, our I bought you a corporate sponge and decorated it with Duke and Tem. It's our birthday. We're one year old, and Frank's with us um, for this special show. And it's good to have you with us, Frank. It's good as to be lovely back. as it's always. Good. Really good. We're available on Radio Britfolk, Radio Britfolk dot co dot uk, ninety eight point eight in the Edinburgh area, Leith FM, where Leith lives, and also, of course. Gardensessions.co.uk. Contact us at podcast at gardensessions.co.uk. Coming up in the show, Frank. Well, we've got the folky news. Mm. As ever, we've got Dave's angle, which uh, it will always. Dave, a hint? Go on. <laughs> Ooh, are we going to get we're one? We're going to get a hint here. Of course. A birthday hint. A birthday hint. <laughs> it is our birthday. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on. It better it's not be corporate birth- right. like the sponge. <laughs> It's a bit of a silly one, and for listeners who obviously can't see what's going on, I'm doing that thing with your fingers with for the quotation marks. It's a bit of a silly one. A si- is that all we a get? Silly That's all you one. get. A silly hint. Uh, what does that mean? Silly as in the storyline? Well, it's a hint. Jack. Right, okay. Clue, we'll okay. Well, we've oh, also got soup got song, it. a tip bit. But uh, don't worry, Angle will always be a treat. What's in my coming mind. up, Frank? Official garden sessions, download chart. And the letters bag. As well as? As well as all the best <laughs> new songwriting in traditional folk music, of course. As now, always. Tom, um, the next song um, is a choice of yours, because it's our birthday, so we're having a wee look back over uh, the year and the, the fun times that we had. This is one um, which came from about from the Folk Odyssey, um, and it's a beautiful song by Face Ross called An Altandu. <laughs> I'm 
Kaylee Trail and Tall Tandu from uh, Faze Ross, which Tom seeked out when he was up on his uh, Folk Odyssey and Quest for the Northwest Passage last year. Um, and the reason we play that is because it's our birthday special. Our birthday special at yes. gardensessions.co.uk, podcast at gardensessions.co.uk, also available angles on Radio Brit Folk, Radio Brit Folk. Co. Uk, and ninety eight point eight in the Edinburgh area where Leaf lives, Leaf FM. Uh, Leaf apparently does live there. Um, that's I think the Leaf's the guy. Kind of I think he's named after the place. Okay, Angles. Right. We'll g- <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> we shall leave it at that. Coming up on the show, um, Frank. Coming up on the show, we've got the Folk News, mm-hmm. Dave's Angle, mm-hmm. the official Garden Sessions download chart and the Letters Bag, as well as all the best in new songwriting and traditional folk music. And we've already had a hint for Dave's Angle, which was, it's a silly one. <laughs> Tom, you reckoned you might have worked it I out. I thought it might be the Silly Sisters. Oh, you say that's a that? good call. Ah, that would be a cryptic clue, Angles. Is it the Silly Sisters that are singing this one? It might be the Silly As in June Tabor and Maddie Pryor. Well, you're going to have to wait to find out. Oh, go you? on. You can no, tell no, us whether no, we're no. right. I'm going to let the, the suspense You can't give build. us a clue and then no, not... No, the suspense will build and at the end you'll find out... Oh, you it's right like now. holding a carrot in front of a donkey. It's like that bit at the end of a Poirot where he reveals all... It has to be done Angle's way, or no way, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> it doesn't. Anyway, Tom. It's news, it's folk. What is it, Tom? It's the folk in you. Mm-hmm. And the folk in you is brought to you this week, as ever, in association with Paddy Bart's Wee Folk Club. Well, every Sunday night at the Oak, we've got the Wee Folk Club at 8.30, an intimate venue, 30 seats, acoustic. It's a great night out. We've got fantastic musicians and uh, singers. Every Sunday night, do come along. Sunday the 13th May at the Wee Folk Club, it's Martin Curtis, a New Zealander who since July 1998 has become a full-time balladeer, singing um, to tourists at, at Queenstown, um, in South Island school history classes and folk clubs in England and that's at the Royal Oak in Edinburgh royal-oak-folk.com These are the headlines What else could it be? The garden sessions are one year old One year, yeah, old. Whole year old Yowza Oh yes, we're just about to start walking <laughs> <laughs> Since May of last year 30 episodes have been Let's released look ahead of ourselves. Uh, Exposing listeners to over 100 new artists um, 100 new Including artists. Frank here um, with it's incredible. 18 exclusive live featured artist sessions, as well as coverage of the Edinburgh Festival, Knock and Gorrick's World Cayley, the Face Ross Cayley Trail, the Broom Farm Cider Festival, Celtic Connections, and slightly more whimsical pieces like the Koigach Handball. The list is <laughs> endless. Indeed. <laughs> Which featured in the New Year's special. Oh, the handball. That was good. That was good. And I think (laughs) we're going to get to hear a bit of that again before this show is out. Oh, you spoil us. (laughs) (laughs) Being in the car wasn't cheating, by the way. Angles. It no. was, kind of. <laughs> a little bit. Anyway, the Garden <laughs> Sessions listenership has grown steadily since May to around 2,500 listeners based, particularly on, the, on word of mouth alone. On word of mouth alone. That's crazy. And, of course, we love you all. <laughs> Thank you so much. So what lies ahead for the Garden Sessions? Good question. Um, after having been syndicated to Radio Brit Folk and closer to home, Edinburgh's Leith FM, things are looking good for the year ahead. Um, I'm going to personally go one better than the folk odyssey um, of last year where I delved into the folk scene of the far northwest of Scotland because I'm going to start a full-scale world folk odyssey of Asia and Australasia beginning later this year um, and I'll be sending back reports every two weeks. Goodness, I'm looking forward to that. There's going to be some even crazy from the of middle music. of the Himalayas. Yeah. Tom's going to satellite the phone them in. I'm going to plant a garden sessions flag at Everest Base Camp. Um, <laughs> Look forward to that photograph. <laughs> <Fantastic>. uh, <laughs> meanwhile, the garden sessions will continue to remain at the heart of the Scottish folk scene. Um, and a, a very special announcement is that Frank Burkett will be taking over from me uh, in my studio role when that mm. happens, Frank. Uh, Frank Frank won't, will you won't be, be taking over so much as keeping your seat warm <laughs> I, I feel very excited I feel the IQ of the show may raise a few. <laughs> <laughs> but as we I already discovered the this <laughs> evening the <laughs> relative aesthetic beauty of the show will decrease <laughs> 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 quite possibly, quite possibly. <laughs> moving on with the folky news uh, Knock and Gorrick World Cayley is from May the 18th to the 20th coming oh so soon um, next show I believe 
features mm-hmm. Trans Global Underground with special guests Natasha Atlas, Zion Train, Shugal Nifty, Keela Tannehill Weavers and Voice Del Sur. Jack and I covered both Nokengorok festivals last year and we'll be back again this year, except this time we'll be joined by yeah. Dave Angles Gimble and Finally. Frank Burkett. We'll be there. Finally, Angles will be there. In, in my new tent. I have bought a new tent specifically for And one of occasion. those mats that goes between the ground and your body to oh, sleep yes. on. It's nice. going to be I'll comfy be and cosy. as a bug <laughs> in a tent. <laughs> and a have a transit van in that tent. We are, yeah, I'm going to try and sleep in that whenever possible, I think. But um, <laughs> <laughs> the, that's going to be in two weeks' time, though. We'll be bringing you the report from Nokengorok's mm. World Kelly. Um, a year on. Three at Nokengorok. Indeed. Um, for more information on the festival, visit um, nokengorok.org. Um, f- lastly, on the folky news this week, Kate Bramley is stepping down as coordinator of Radio Britfolk. After coming to the end of grant funding from the lottery, it had been the station's ambition to become self-supporting by this point, but the absence of a staff member dedicated to sponsorship and fundraising has meant that shows can now be produced only on a voluntary basis. So that's mm. a shame. Yeah. Um, Bramley had been troubled in recent months by health problems affecting her sight, and so will be taking some ty- time out on doctor's orders. Kate told Radio Brit Focus, I believe we've all made a great contribution to a really powerful project. Just a glance back through the archives shows what a wealth of music and comment has been created and I hope you will be able to continue to push the station onwards a heartfelt thanks to you all yeah that will be a sad farewell to Kate Bramley she's mm. done a wonderful job getting Radio Brit Folk up to the, the point that it is now definitely mm-hmm. yeah um, and she's a fantastic musician as well keep up to date with all the latest folky news at gardensessions.co.uk forward slash news and that's the folky news Frank Cough in there. Yeah. And there's that nerves as to whether you're going to feature in the top <laughs> ten. Uh, it <laughs> could well be. It could well be. Just clear in the throat. Because it's that time. Angles, how many new entries, re-entries, non-movers? We've had... Oh, it's been crazy. It's been dancing around like a drunk at a Kaylee. We've got two new entries. <laughs> we've got four re-entries. No non-movers. Everything's changed. Oh, goodness gracious. I've Let been collating all week and I've only just got it down on paper. Stop teasing us, Angles. The official garden session download chart. The official garden session download chart. At 10, it's the first of four re entries. It's David Rovix with Who Would Jesus yes. Boss? Good on Rovix. At Good 9, it's down one. Bum, bum, bum. Frank, you're slipping. It's what oh. she would say. That's the Ooh. video no, version. No, 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 no. Just making a tactical retreat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At 8, it's a new entry from the Paul McKenna band with Lonely Man. Good nice to see them. Indeed. At 7, it's down three. Frank, you're slipping again. Oh, it's no. military Just, band uh, featuring the Suns. About you crossing off those days and nights, and with every gunshot and blast, think will you be flying your flag at half mast? <laughs> <laughs> who, who was that feature? <laughs> I was featuring Cassandra Steele, Jack. Uh, the, uh, it's Sorry a trigger about finger that. there, Jack. Every time. Every single <laughs> bloody time. At six, it's a new entry for Susanna McDonald with This Is A Love Song. At five, it's another re-entry with the Laurie Watson 3, Cape on Tree. Get in. At four, another re-entry for Jamie Laval and Ashley Broder with Piper's Reverie. To perfection, Jack. Well Indeed. At three, it's a re entry for Claire Mann and Aaron Jones with Saints and Sinners. Beautiful At song. two, it's up one, Laurie Watson three with When Maggie Gangs Away. Uh, so, number one, ran. Uh, <laughs> Number one. Oh, what were you, were you about to say <laughs> there? I was, I was about to run. Run. Oh, run. Uh, I've kind of given it away already. Standards it's are slipping. Up nine. Up nine. Up nine. Up nine. From ten to one, Rantum Scantum with Hush. Yes. 
bizarrely enough, the very tune you're listening to right now, because it is in fact the backing track to the top ten. Well, you're Subliminal hear a bit more messaging. Of it. <laughs> Indeed. But here it comes. Bobby and Eddie there, Rantum Scantum, at number one um, really? on the Garden Sessions birthday special. At the top a of the top leap. What a privilege. A leap from <laughs> Indeed. 10 to The one. gold standard for Bobby and Eddie. Indeed, and Tantiri nowhere to be seen, who nowhere I believe were at number one last week. Goodness gracious. Um, angles, your angle's coming up in just a moment. Go and give us another clue. Another clue? You want another clue? Another clue. clue. Yeah, but, ooh, but you already guessed on the first one. We guessed the band. Well, you didn't say we were right. That's yeah, You're that's giving true. away okay. that we might be it now. It features a lord. A lord. <laughs> okay. It well, doesn't really narrow it down much. I tell you what, lord, on that note, we can all think about that. 
Well, as we say, this is the Garden Sessions, gardensessions.co.uk, and contact us at podcast.gardensessions.co.uk. We're available on Radio Britfolk, radiobritfolk.co.uk. And Tom, where else? Um, Leith FM, 98.8 FM in the Edinburgh area, where Leith lives. Leith does live there. Coming up on the show, Frank, still we have... We have Dave's Angle, of course. In just a moment. Oh, I'm so excited. And we have the letters bag, as well as all the best in new songwriting and traditional folk music. And I think we were promised to hear the handball from oh, Paul Bain yes. versus of course, of course, how from good. It was you that promised, is it? Yeah. <laughs> On that cold, wintry morning. Anyway. Yeah. No, it was a thrill. <laughs> it was good. The sun did blind my eyes at some yeah. points, oh. but uh, <laughs> it, was it was a fantastic was blustery, game. but so much fun. <laughs> anyway, Angles, or Dave, whoever you are, what's your angle? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, it's a traditional tune, but Tom... You were right, in fact, it is the Silly Sisters. I knew it. Yeah. Did you have a tune in mind? I almost uh, got one over him. No, I couldn't quite, f- I couldn't quite put, There's my a lot of lords. P- put my finger on it. There's a lot of lords and a lot of Silly Sisters. So well, uh, the Silly Sisters time, being June Tabor and Maddie Pryor, of course, that was their collaboration. They indeed, two albums yes. together. Uh, this is uh, The Lass of Loch Royal. Oh. You wax me still. 
That's Maddie Pryor and June Tabor from their collaboration on Silly Sisters, which was released in 1976. It's been around a while, but it's a folk classic. Mm. And Dave mm. chose that track there, Last of Loch Royal, as this week's angle. I have heard this song oh so many times, but I still can't quite get to grips with what's going on. Dave, what's your angle? Mm-hmm. Okay, firstly, uh, the reason I chose this is because it doesn't have a moral. It's a weird one, doesn't have a moral. There's I can't no fathom. Moral. I'm not going to no, 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 no. accept that. We must be mistaken. We're it getting has a moral to out of it. Well, we'll discuss that when we come to the end of the. No, we're getting a moral out of it. You can shoot some morals at me, and I'll tell you why they're not actually. I just said you could shoot some morals at me as well. My God. Anyway, it starts off, this girl saying she's the king's daughter, or a mm-hmm. king's daughter. Princess. Indeed. Uh, and she comes from Capaquin. Of course. Uh, I don't know where Capaquin is, I'm afraid. I can't, I can't tell you. Um, and you call you yourself a folk guru. A scholar, no, I don't. you call yourself. <laughs> and you don't even know where Capaquin is. Capaquin. Shame. Capaquin. Shame. Yeah. Shame. We're all brushing over the fact that we don't know where it is <laughs> <laughs> either. I don't have a clue. It sounds like it's from Ireland. Well, close enough. Um, she's looking for <laughs> Lord Gregory. I think Scotland. Um, and she's basically sort of she's trying to find Lord Gregory because no, she has a bit of a, a grievance Ireland. there. Um, Might be England. Shut up, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Lord Gregory? Well, he's this guy that she's she's she basically she's searching for him. She's out in the in the in the rain and the cold, and um, it's wet and it's horrible. And she's got a baby in her arms. This is the first clue. She's looking for Lord Gregory. She's got a baby in her is arms. Is Lord Gregory the father? He is. Has yeah. He's been up to no good uh-huh. nine months prior. Mm, there's a bit of that been going on. So she gets to Lord Gregory's house, and she's sort of trying to get in. She's knocking on the door. She's rapping at the window. She's saying, you know, let me in. Where's Lord Gregory? Kind of thing. And they say he's not here. He's gone to Scotland. Uh, Excuses, I don't believe it. He's well, in he's there. Got, no, he's dead. He's, he's gone to Scotland, but he's gone to Scotland to fetch his new queen. Hold on. No, hang Ooh. on. No. Hold on. Is is um, the, the lass of Loch Royal, is she married to um, Lord, Gregory. Lord Gregory? Well, basically, they sort of tell her to, to sort of leave and go and not come back kind of thing. They're trying to sort of... Look, you didn't that. answer our question. That's, I'm uh, coming to that. I'm coming <laughs> yeah. to that. Sorry, he's getting a patchman. <laughs> she starts sort of. She starts That's sort necessary. of. Did he threaten saying, to uh, <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you? I mean, do you? Does, do you remember Lord Gregory uh, when we sat at the wine? She's talking about like what what they did together, and then she sort of says we exchanged rings. So they obviously had a bit of a marriage. She okay. got pregnant, and there was a bit of a sort of quickie wedding there. A bit right. of a quickie wedding. <laughs> quickie wedding. <laughs> Check that. I out. love the. I love the. Want to get married? Yeah. I did. A, I did a little sort of thing when I said quickie with my arms, and Frank mimicked it as if to sort of amuse about the fact. I'm sure this no is very entertaining for the listeners. In the last yeah. of Royal That's go true. To Vegas, did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they went to the chapel. Yeah, oh, love. love. <laughs> Okay, so they married, and um, he wasn't into she it. She said, yeah, well, basically, she sort of starts saying, we, we exchanged rings. Yours was, like, made of gold, and it was, cost a lot of money, but it wasn't really worth well, much he was because it was given falsely, whereas mine was only made of tin, but I, it was given with love, and you've kind of now oh, sort of That's thrown me nice. to one side kind of thing. It's kind of nice. And I also, feel really quite also, bad for the last of the yeah, You yeah. stole away my maidenhead and saw against my will. So no he's explanations needed there. You know, he he's he, he's he's been a bit. That's the most flowery way it impressive. can be. Boot angles. You yeah, can't that's put it not. In. Um, <laughs> that's not that's, even go there. Yeah. No. So not, anyway, what happened next? Um, she says basically, you've got to let me in. It's raining. It's cold. I'm She's wet. The baby's so. wet. You know. And she's got a fair grievance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With Gregory. And then it gets a bit confusing. Uh, at the end, because there's a bit not of a, what we want to there hear. seems to be a bit of a dialogue going on. I'm not between sure. between uh, Lord Gregory and her. So does he let her in? Then he must do to open the door so, and speak to her. So is he there? No, I think he's gotten back by this point or something. How long has she been I, outside? Yeah, she <laughs> must have been outside for a while. <laughs> Quite a while. Waiting. In the house. She's obviously she's been outside overnight because, like it says, and the dew stands on my chin. So. It, they're assuming morning. Right, so it was like a one day trip. Get the queen back down. Bish yeah. bash bosh. The Jew on her chin. What? Yeah. What Maybe she was sleeping in a meadow. 
Yeah, okay, fair yeah, enough. She was Thank sleeping out in the meadow outside his front door. Yep. Waiting for him to get back. He's got a meadow in front of his front He's door. He's a lord! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Has Gregory got his new woman back? Yeah. We assume so. So anyway, what there. happens so basically, to the last they try to get. The, they try to get. He tries to get rid of her. He says, like, you've got to go. You've got to leave. Walk We've out that this, door. Don't know, turn around now because you're not welcome anymore. We've got this crazy... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frank. <laughs> Law in the tone of the garden sessions. I this is folk only. That's great this line is reserved for folkers. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're just, you know, spicing things up a little. Well, there you go. Back to the angle. Okay, I'm confused. I'm so confused. Right, basically he tries to sort of get rid of her. He says, look, I've got you this boat. It's a pretty good boat. It's made of pearls. <laughs> it's got it's bells. It's got a master gold. It's a kick-ass boat. He gets a good for the last of Loch Royal. Yeah. And tries to get her to sail away at it. <laughs> she says, and she says, no, no, no chance, no chance. Uh, it's like it, it, doesn't for for a, uh, it doesn't suit for it doesn't suit a forsaken maid to sail so royally. She says, no, 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 no. I've been done over. It's not, you know, you can't go in the boat. Um, so she takes down the mast and apparently drowns at sea. Or goes off set to drown I'm at sea. Happy so Dave, what is the moral? Anything. Very briefly, let's cover this ground of what the moral is. There isn't one. There's no 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 one learns a lesson through a, a, a moralistic. But the way. listener learns a lesson in that it says that you shouldn't just. I've got a moral: don't build a boat with pearls because it'll sink. No, she took the mast down. That's why it sank. Don't take a boat's mast down. I think the moral is that toffs are mean. Right. It's not really yeah. a moral. Don't trust them. I think the moral is watching the clock. Dave, is that your angle? Yeah, it is. Mm. And just smoothly, just like that, we go into... The Garden Sessions Letters <laughs> Frank. Just adding a little bit to the jingle. That's Bonus jingle material. That was um, the live. jingle that Frank laid down for That's us. For live jingle, cutting edge, cutting edge. Very, indeed. Okay, who's got the first letter? I do. Okay, go. Uh, it starts off, Dear Garden Sessions, I've been trying to answer the question around the origins of Willie's Gone to Melville Castle, <laughs> uh, and have come up with the, the following reply from a Robert Burns Society. Now that's a bit odd. This that's is legwork. That's a good effort. <laughs> okay. This is proper, um, yeah. and it says, uh, Dear Ed, one of our members thinks the song was included in the Scottish min- minstrelry collected by Lady Nairn circa 1770, but the author is anonymous. Another member thinks the song is by David Shaw, but no further info is available at this time. I will get back to you if anything else comes to hand. Hope this helps. And that's from Ed from Bedfordshire. It's P.S. Thank you, thank you, thank you for introducing me to the sounds of Carolyn and Nona Scott and Corrine Polwart and all the other great music. Yeah. Not a problem. It's Absolute pleasure. It is a pleasure. Um, I've got a letter here. Dear Garden Sessions, thanks for the session, lads. Really enjoyed it. Just listening to the Northwest Passage tune from episode 28. Beautiful. Um, Stan Rogers, of course. Um, my great, 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 great grandfather. That's four greats. Four greats. Died on that voyage along with Franklin and the rest of them. Synchronicity. They reckon that Franklin <laughs> and the officers died of lead poisoning, by the way, um, from the new style tinned food. Ooh. The rest of them froze to death on the ice, as Angle so rightly says. It's a jolly old story, anyway. <laughs> that's from Jed Milroy, last show's featured artist. I think that's the synchronicity <laughs> thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was speaking to Jed. <laughs> Without knowing it, as, Jed. I, I spoke to Jed the other night about this, and he was saying that it was um, that the fact that his great, 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 great grandfather, four greats, um, was on that voyage. That was what got him into folk music, um, was that Stan Rogers song Northwest Passage so. well there you go that's well, a great song Tom you have a letter um, yes dear garden sessions I've been listening to the show since episode one and would like to wish you a very very happy first birthday Yay. the show ah, just keeps cheers. getting better every time <laughs> here's to another year and that's from Sally in Cumbria we thought Thank we might as much, well Sally. read out one birthday <laughs> card <laughs> Yeah, no, no it's a, we're a year old. We're yeah. a year old, goodness. And we have a lovely cake to show for it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> no mock cake. Pat. If you really want to see that cake, uh, get yourself onto Garden Sessions at Cody. You'll be amazed. You'll be, amazed. It. It's, it's it's be absolutely. <laughs> the your sun's mouth. there, he's happy, smiling, he's got his hat on. The work that went into that cake, Frank have and I. No shame. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have no shame. <laughs> I have nothing but pride, Tom. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've been talking for an awfully long time. Um, and another song which we wanted to play, which we've already played in the Garden Sessions a good few shows ago, though, um, because we're looking back over our first year, um, is Sirens, um, Tom Payne's Bones. <laughs> Kinsman Blake, Shona Mooney, Rachel Newton, Shona Kipling, Olivia Ross, Laura Salter, Sirens, Tom Payne's Bones, and you can hear more of that at myspace.com forward slash Sirens Space. There's links to all the music that you hear in the show as ever, though, on gardensessions.co.uk. Contact us at podcast at gardensessions.co.uk. We're available on Radio Britfolk, Radio Britfolk.co.uk, and 98.8 in the Edinburgh area, Leith FM, where Leith lives. 
You are listening to the Garden Sessions. It's our first birthday special. Woo! And Frank, Woo! Frank, we have a treat. We do have a treat. We are now going to hear the report from uh, the New Year second annual handball. Tell us a, a, a little bit about the handball before we hear it. Uh, basically, uh, a bunch of marauding rifts from two villages up in the Northwest Highlands <laughs> meet on a wintry <laughs> midday on Hogmanay and fight it out to get <laughs> the uh, bruises are only just a healing. rugby ball into the opposing village. And uh, it's between Paul Bain and Achel Tibui. Well, it was great fun. And let's hear the report which we did um, at, on our New Year's special. Well, we're here on Baden Tarbert Beach. It's, it's, I have to say, it's quite a nice day for it. It's clear, there's no rain in the air really as nice. of yet. The sun's kind of poking through. That's true, but we're all wearing big, big jackets because it is cold. It's true, not like the players down there on the beach. No, um, and in amongst those players, getting ready oh. for the kick-off, punch-off, or run-off, or whatever you want to call it, oh. of the handball, there he is. is Tom. Tom Harlan. There Can we is. catch him? He's come to join us. How's the training been going? Just been warming up. I, I, Lord had, a, the word. had a big breakfast this morning, man. You know, I don't know. Do you think it's wise to um, actually participate in this savage well, game on such a last stomach? year when I did it, I was sick against the dry stone dike. So this this year I try to eat less. And I've been trying to do a warm-up, but I'm already knackered. Am I mistaken in thinking that you even dipped into that sea this morning? Yeah, I, I, I gave myself a good cold shock this to clear the man is hangover. just committed to the but cause. Tom, um, if, you could, if you could sum up what you're feeling right now in one word, uh, what would that word be? Scared. Okay, we're ready. Just about to start. Yep. Okay. Go on, Tom. Hey. Good luck. There we go. Okay, I think they're all assembling. It, it, it started. It's out it's and the ball is gone. The ball has gone. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh Angles has been taken down. Frank and I seem to be safe. Um, Tom has actually come. Oh, man, Angles. Man, Angles. <laughs> we're on the move. Oh, we're on the move. We're on the move. We're chasing it. Tom has just hit the deck like a sack of anvils. It really did look painful. Oh, Took the recording equipment oh, with him. Told you we were too close. We're now running down the road. It looks like it's going in the direction of Ackleton. Yeah, they're, so they're heading up the hill, but uh, so Paul Bain are doing well. Advantage, disadvantage situation here. Right, uh, can you see? Yeah, all I can see is a mass of, uh, of bodies. It's so savage and manly. Uh, it's oh, hold on, hold on. It's turning the other way. We're going back out towards Paul Bain. Tom has uh, just narrowly avoided a stream. Okay, Frank. Something rather unusual. Buoy getting up to Paul Bain here. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big, it's a big disadvantage that Michael Debuy have got here. They've got a hill, it's really quite steep, not quite long, but uh, every so often the ball does make its way slowly oh, up the hill. And it's come back the other way. Tom's down. Tom's down. We're going to be going into the field. Tom. 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 Okay, it's okay. How are you feeling, Tom? I'll go some water. Oh, we'd love to have played you all time. of that. But <laughs> Just feeling that pain all over again. It's like lay in the middle of a bog. That was a very, very <laughs> enjoyable day. Suffice to say that the, the winners for the second year running were, Tom? Paul Bain. Indeed. Paul Bain well took done. it. Your team until you cheated. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> stayed in the car. The safety car. The safety car, whatever on <laughs> earth that means. But, um, no, it was good anyway, I think. But you still did cheat. I didn't cheat. There's no rules. He was just taking That's a little. Gent- no, no, There's we're not no going into. We're Gent- not going into our second year on a fight. So let's con- bury okay. it now. Ooh. And there it goes. <laughs> the siren of doom. <laughs> Cut off in mid-flow. It's and, the end. And we have completed a year of the garden yes. sessions. How exciting! Well, join us next time when we'll be at Knock and Gorich. I cannot World wait. wait we will, all four of us will Round be there. Three. It's going to be good. And when Frank's tents collapsed. He can't sleep in the van. We'll also have all the usual features, folk and news, Dave's Angle, official garden sessions, download chart, and letters bag, as well as all the best in new songwriting and traditional music. And we're going to play out tonight with Blue Murder and the Good Night song. Um, just to say thanks very much to all our listeners for listening for the past year, and we hope you'll stick with us for another year. Would you not all agree? Long may it continue. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. It's been fun, and it should be much more fun. We'll see you next time at Nohangarik. From myself, Jack Foster, Tom Harland, Frank Burkett, Dave the Angles Gimbal, cheerio. Catch you later down the Take trail. Take it easy. Good night. So good night, my friends. As the dawn comes pale, 
And the stern wind brings a threat to gales. Keep a hold on hope through the darkest veil, and we'll meet further on down the road. I have travelled far from this island strand, from the icy waste. To the burning sun, plowed the raging sea, seen the verdant land, been at home in a place far away. So good night, my friends, as the dawn comes pale and the eastern wind brings a threat to gales. Keep a hold. And a friendly face breaks a thousand chains, and a smile breaks the lock on the door. So good night, my friends, as the dawn comes pale, and the eastern wind brings the threat of gales. Keep a hold on hope through the dark. Swapped our tales of woe, kept the clouds at bay. In the morning, clear, we'll be on our way, but we'll meet further on down the road. So good night, my friends, as the dawn comes pale and the eastern wind. Threads of gales keep a hold on hope through the darkest veil, and we'll meet further on down the road. So let's drink a health to good times gone by when our spirits soared and we touched the sky. And we'll bid farewell, but not goodbye. And we'll meet further on down the road. So good night, my friends, as the dawn comes pale and the eastern.